All right, I am going to show you a little bit more detail the uh, the modification to the upper receiver that I did to make the WSSM VLD PMAG work. Um, I'm going to start out by showing you the uh, lower receiver and the small shape that's on the inside of the magwell. This is a DPMS lower. So that uh, may or may not make a difference. I'm not sure what kind you have. I'm not sure what kind have this uh, small little U shape in it. I'm really not sure, but the DPMS ones do have it. This is what it looks like. That's on the bottom of the magwell. That is the front end of the lower receiver. That comes factory on the DPMS lowers. And that is the space that the VLD bullet tip will ride in when you have the PMAG inserted. So, give me just a second, I will take this down and I'll show you what they did to the upper to make this work. On the upper, my upper this small area that's rounded out is typically flat. And as you can see, my AR has a lot of wear and tear on the uh, on the Cerakote job that I did. That's gonna get touched up here later, but it's irrelevant. This small little shape right here, it's about the size of, about the shape of a fingernail. And all I did is I took a carbide drill bit, or excuse me, it's a carbide Dremel bit, tungsten carbide cutter. I used one that had a round tip. I got it at uh, Walmart for about six bucks, I think. Put it in my Dremel tool and uh, just give it a little zip 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 it literally takes maybe three passes and that carbide will eat the aluminum right out of there now what's gonna happen is is you're gonna have aluminum flakes all over on the inside of the receiver and rather than try and swab them out or pick them out or do whatever to get them out I just blasted the inside of my receiver out with uh, brake cleaner and then ran a swab blasted it again and then ran a swab and as near as I could tell I've got everything out of it so that's uh, that's on the bottom of the receiver now another thing that I did may or may not be necessary I don't know I just did it to make myself feel better is right in here you can see maybe you can't see right in there you can see uh, that I actually added here let me get some more light for you <clears throat> I actually took a small amount of material out of the feed ramp as well. Like I said, may or may not be required. But I just did it to make myself feel better. So, anyway, those are the two mods that I did to the upper because when the bullet is coming out of the PMAG, and it comes out of the lower, it will catch right here on this little edge if you don't grind that out. So grinding out this little spot right here gives you an extra, oh, at least an extra hundredth of an inch going from 2.325 to roughly 2.4. So that's the mod that I do to the upper receiver.